And welcome back to Dark and Rand's Mass Effect 3. Hello. We finally we finally caught up with our uh, token t token good service teammate, Jacob. And yeah. uh, good thing we weren't fem female shepherd and tried to romance him. Otherwise, he would have been a uh, racial stereotype here loyal. I'm Oof. so gonna catch flack for that. Golly. To, to be to be fair. To be fair to Jacob, you were in under lockup for like a year. He kind yeah, of he kind of lost yeah. track of you. For all he knew, you could have been dead. Yeah. Or in prison or whatever. Well, we were in prison technically. <laughs> Quote unquote in prison. I mean, if you hey that if you look during the opening cutscene, the hallway Shepard and James walk out of is detention. Like, it says it on the wall. So you are in military prison. You're just in a very well-kept military prison. Technically. But, you know, you know, just a very nice place on set. It's more of a... Like, we, we're not, we can't court-martial you. We can't just discharge you. But we're going to lock you... We're going to put you under, quote, lock-up. House arrest. So, so that, you know, we can avoid political fallout. <clears throat> yeah, that, that, that sounds about right. Anyway, uh, first I need to talk to Dr. Chakwas, so let's go talk to Dr. Chakwas. <clears throat> One of the handful of people that sticks with you through the entire series. Yeah. Are you sure you oh, this. this. What's the matter, Vicarious? Big enough people would that stick with us through the entire Though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like. But if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. Back in my CSEC days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought off a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had. Now, I tracked down this guy, Sarah. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. You're right. I was the Shepard from the very beginning. That just means you're old. Still think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. Funny you mention those. Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. Do you know you have? I'm Archangel. Maybe I heard something about that, too. Then maybe you also heard that for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little house cleaning. So you ran a cleaning service on Omega. Back on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. Had to kill them by myself. To worm next, that's almost impressive. Oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly it. <laughs> The Alliance teach you to make up crap like that? Or did you figure it out all by yourself? It's a gift. You've been through a lot, Scars. <laughs> you giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Fair enough. We've all got one of those. Just one, huh? Yeah. Not every story has a happy ending. Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrus Vicarian. He was pretty good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hotshot. Yeah. Yeah, I knew this wise-ass marine named Jimmy Vega. Sounds like a pole dancer on a mega. <laughs> Always got on my nerves. But the kid was all right. Had guts when it counted. And together they cured the genophage. And stopped Cerberus from taking over the Citadel. And finally kicked the Reapers from this galaxy and into the next. With a little help from their friends. Nah, it was just <laughs> us. But mostly... <laughs> I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use it. Yeah, it's like speaking of people who've been with us from the beginning. Yeah. Hey, Commander. Now, can we call him on his bullshit? <laughs> nah, let's let them have their fun. Shepard? Remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise Ice Brandy every year. 
And it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes. Well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... Indulge my impatience. What do you think? Save it for the win, or go ahead and drink? Save it for the win. Doctor, put that bottle in a safe place. We'll crack it open to celebrate our victory over the Reavers. Admire your optimism, and I'll look forward to the day we can share it. Till then. I honestly don't remember that in the slightest. Still think you can win this, huh? Hmm. I can do this all day, Again. stars. Funny you mention those. Everything yeah, that's unusual. I might have. Yeah. You know you have. I have the latest reports on it's the camera for that to repeat. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Udina's coup. Postpone those deployments. Any intel? Nope. Alright, so what's in the broker terminal? <clears throat> Tervest military report. Extracted from the databanks of the Elcor garrison on Tervest. Elder Yanyan. Huh? Plainly, the situation on Tervest has deteriorated. We were forced to establish a cordon around the Inca district. None may enter or leave for fear of contamination. Grimly, the Reloi population suspect that we spread the disease. Mild relief. They do not know how correct they are. We Ooh. don't. We don't know who carried the sickness to this planet. For our doctors confirmed, it is a mutant strain of the Hano plague. Poignant regret. Thousands are ill, and our best estimates predict fewer than seventy percent patients survive. These aliens welcomed us, but we have brought this disease to their door. We must help them. Desperately, we need medical supplies and a vaccine immediately. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. I wonder if we can help with that. Not I see. <coughs> An hacked email from Commander Bailey to Anatoly Mayer. Tolly, I've got the name of the officers we lost during the service attack who had relatives in your sector. Some of my people asked me to include personal letters for some of them. I've added a recording of my own for for each as well. If you could if you could deliver th those at the same time as you notify the families, we really appreciate it. Yeah. Bailey doesn't have an easy job right now. Nope. <clears throat> Intercepted transmission from undercover operatives. Intercepted from a secure drop site before it reached Novaria. Drop site and message were destroyed to protect the undercover agent. <clears throat> Director, don't ask how I did it, but I've embedded myself into Project uh, Takria's dark energy research team. The scientists are welcoming, but their security is another matter. These soldiers lack the Asari's smug superiority, but are distinctly xenophobic. They watch us like hawks, but for now I think I'm secure. We're being transferred soon. It took some digging, but I've pinpointed our destination, the Hawking Ada Cluster. Two coordinates were listed in the databanks, the pro planets Clendagon and Minwesson. All else is encrypted. Judging by the project's name, our destination, and Makai Technologies' penchant for weapons, I bet this has something to do with the, that theory about the audio unintelligible. I'll learn more once we reach the new lab. I'll update you as soon as it is safe. Parsini out. Ah. Hey. You remember her, right? Sounds familiar. She's the uh, undercover cop character that uh, helped us out on Novaria and we helped out on, uh, uh, on Ilum. Yeah, I remember now. <clears throat> Maybe we can help with that. Uh, we've got bigger matters than white collar crime. Yeah, fair enough. Email from Ta from Jacob to Cole. Miss you, Bryn, but I'm glad you're back there. The fighting's going to get tough when we push out with the Crucible. I've gotten a cold shoulder from people who you used know I used to work for Cerberus. Can't say I blame them, especially after what happened on the Citadel. I've been able to teach other squads how Cerberus fights, though. They may be wearing new equipment, but I know their tactics. Love you, Bryn. Take care of yourself. Jacob's making yeah, stuff. So they're working fun. separately, but still go down. You've been through a lot, Scott. Yeah. You giving up? Nah, I got Would you two shut to up? Yeah. Ash got anything to say? Oh, uh, yeah. Ash. Sounds like you got lucky down there, Commander. Civilians, children. Could have been very bad. I don't even want to think about it. 
But scooping those scientists right from under the elusive man's nose, that's gotta piss him off. That's the idea. That Jacob guy's gonna be all right. I hope we can trust a bunch of ex Cerberus. Just saying. <laughs> Mood swings. <laughs> Does Chakras need to check you out? Commander. Talk about mood swings. Wonder if she was doing a dig at us specifically on that one. <sighs> one put it past her. Let's see what Javik has to say. See, actually, this is why we don't bring you on missions. Big oof. You and this human called Jacob were both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? <laughs> Correct. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. That is all. It always boils down to fighting your creator, doesn't it, Javik? Mm -hmm. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. There was nowhere left to run. I trust you, Commander. Oh. When you say you no longer expedite Cerberus's goals. Otherwise. Perhaps later, Commander. Yeah, I mean, we were never really on their side after, no? Mm-hmm. You've got new messages, Commander. Oh, boy! More new mail. messages! <clears throat> Kimin, a humble invitation. Oh, oh boy, these are big words. So Sonoril Al Albright Olos the Tenth wishes to extend his most humble apologies for the altercation with diplomat Zemandus. Zemandus. Hmm? Ah, without your selfless intervention, it is probable that Keiji would have metastasized. Yeah, Zemandus was the uh, the Hanar that was indoctrinated. That Kasumi helped um, us with. <clears throat> Took me a minute. At the behest of yeah. at the behest of Sonarl, this one has been has, has the sincere pleasure of extending an invitation to visit Kaji. As a representative of the Illuminated Primacy, the Sonoril wishes to consult together about how the Hanar can contribute to restoring your homeworld. If you are gracious enough to accept this humble invite, then this one will have the distinct honor of providing a tour of our reliquary to the Enkid of the Enkidlers in Nidaria City. May your path so, be So, wait, are we actually allowed to go to the Hanar homeworld now? Well, considering it wasn't in the original game, it's probably going to be a bunch of text boxes. I need to. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, my first instinct of that was, can we bring Javik? <laughs> that was... <laughs> Oh, that would cause a riot. <laughs> Let's see, what's going on here? Can I TLDR this? I have no idea what they're talking about. Something about uh, minor groups in the Traverse and Outer Council space. Apparently joining the, uh, the pile. Well, we need all the help we can get. In defiance of the recent extremism, we now stand united with more species than at any point in our history, including the Rachni Wars. Yes, given that we're also currently united with the Rachni. Speaking of which, <coughs> ANN News Alert. ANN News Alert, new article on Rachni. <coughs> A lucky platoon fighting Reaper forces in the Attican Beta were saved by the most unlikely ally. The ancient insect species known as the Rachni appears to have returned. We were in the ship bad, said Sergeant Cole. Running low on ammo, holed up in this little outpost, at least 5,000 Reaper cannibals, husks, and even worse types clawing their way in. Wait, wait. We, haven't we heard of a Sergeant Cole before? Can't... I can't, feel like I've heard that name before. Maybe? But, oh well. <clears throat> we should be dead. Then the ground starts shaking and a major starts screaming. The Rachni are coming! The Rachni are coming! I thought she had finally blown a fuse. Major Durand, a 15-year Alliance veteran, refused to disclose how she knew the Rachni were arriving, but added that she was strangely relieved when they showed up. 
when they burst out of the ground, I was worried that they would come for us. But they just tore into those Reaper troops. It was glorious. Some of her platoon began shooting at the new arrivals. We were lucky they didn't retaliate, she added. I don't know where they went or where they came from, but we owe them our lives. Imagine, imagine growing up, uh, being taught about the Rachni Wars and how they were a terrifying force that had, to, that required the Krogan to be stopped, and then having them show up and save your ass out of nowhere. Right. Still welcome. <laughs> uh, nothing to do. With, ooh, what do we have here? Travel to Kaji and take. Okay then. So we do get. Hmm. Well, text or not, we do get to go to Kaji. Garvug and the Valhallen Threshold. Antida. I have no idea where Antida is. Cillian Nebula, that's. Okay. okay. So we've got about a few things to do. Yeah, we've got some places to go. So let's get going. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Cilia oh, Nebula. Right. Over here. It's a sorry space. Okay. What? Do we have here? Ping. 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 I will be a little surprised if uh, I never catch any shit for having disabled the Reaper Pursuit mechanic. But being completely honest, it was just a detriment to gameplay. Yeah, that's some kind of pointless. I don't know if I've explained it before. Basically, when you're scanning around in an area that has Reapers, uh, each ping has a chance of uh, drawing their attention. Uh, and once once they start the pursuit, they will chase down to Normandy, and if they catch it, it's game over. Uh, and the only way to uh, shake them is to leave the system and come back after you do a mission. That sounds really annoying. Yeah, especially considering... Uh, if you're bad, or just unlucky, it's entirely possible to not find all the assets, uh, considering how many missions there are in the game. Yeah... So, I just have to hell with that. Understand that one. Yeah. You? A woo? A woo! Oh my god, why am, okay. I, such a, why am I such a fucking weeb? Yes. Yeah, the Rings of Illumi. Rings of Illumi. It's an Asari. It's an Asari relic. Fun. Uh, if I remember the dialogue right, because you, you listen in on a and Asari at the uh, hospital talking about it, and that's where you get the quest. Apparently, like, one of their, like, uh, premier matriarchs or something like that, Alun or whatever, uh, supposedly was wearing the rings when they when she was taught medicine by one of their goddesses. Oh, interesting. Thus, that's no. why they kind of need it. Now, where do we need to go? Uh, Valhallen Threshold? No. It's somewhere out Guardians. here. Somewhere out in the distance. Homunculus Cluster, that's an ominous name. You ever stop to wonder just how much unexplored space there is in Mass Effect? Like, unclaimed worlds because they limit themselves to the mass relays? Right. Like, if you were to roll I understand up, how convenient they are, but... Like if oh, here we go, Garvog. <clears throat> Garvog was considered a bargain world given to the Krogan to placate them because no one else wanted to live on such a frozen rock. 
technically a life-bearing world, Garvug had a small farm belt around its equator and well-insulated marine life in the seas. By the turn of the century, the Krogan had completely adapted, breeding, breeding hundreds of younglings per family in vast underground bunkers. By the turn of the next century, Garvik's narrow strips of coral reef had been destroyed by overfishing and pollutants, and excess Krogan took to the stars to find another planet to consume. Garvug was treated as an object lesson to the council, by the Citadel Council. The Krogan could not be trusted to check their own numbers. Today, Garvug is under occupation by the Reapers. The corporate militia and the native Krogan and Vorcha clans are fighting guerrilla war for control of the capital city, yet have failed to find common cause with each other. While the three factions vie for control of the surface, refugees have fled into ancient Krogan bunkers to escape the fighting. Well, lucky for us, with the likes of Rex and Eve in charge, they should do much better this time. Yep. Protean data drives. That sounds useful. Eh, could be useful. Free fuel. Um, free fuel. Yep. Okay, still more stuff to grab. I think this is the only direction stuff's in. But yeah, like, if you were to roll up in Mass Effect with a conventional... The R suggests we keep an eye out here for anything that can assist with the Crucible. Okay, then. I found something. Like a conventional, for a definition of the word, faster than light drive. You would just completely blow their minds. Right. Emergency fuel boost, that sounds useful. Because just like, we're no longer constrained by the fucking, uh... Mass effect, the, the mass relays. Yeah, that'd be nice. Element C, competitor. Supposedly, the entire reason why they, uh. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, supposedly, the reason why they never bothered developing new FTL technology was because, uh. The mass relays uh, always happen to link to somewhere useful. Uh, and they were fast. And so, you know, yeah. they just kind of went, eh, and didn't bother. Still. And I guess that's it. And I'm betting now, they kind of wish they had thought to do something different. Okay. Aww. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm okay not getting completely fucking flashbanged. Well, we cannot scan the sun. <laughs> really, Ran? Uh... What else do we need? I don't know... Well, we could go to the Han at home world. Yeah, I just don't know where... Antida... I don't know where Kaje is. Yes, yeah, so we could go check the mails again or something. The what? The mails again, if it doesn't say anything. No, it doesn't already. say. Oh. Um. I'm just fucking look googling it. Fair enough. Choo 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 choo. Ilium, Kaja, Shipping Lane, it doesn't actually tell you. So we're just gonna have to fucking hunt it down ourselves. But I can guess. Whip. And Antita is in the Maroon Sea. So wait, does that say where it is? No. At least we know where one of them is. Let's see. Granted, I have no idea where that in particular is.
Ah, and then my mouse craps out on me. There you go. So that's Omega. Milky Way Canada System. Uh, yeah, that's the system. It doesn't tell me what cluster it's in. Oh, um... Maroon Olin C. Protectorate, Milky Way... Olin Protectorate? Yep. That's where Kaja is? Apparently. Okay, I know where that is now. But where's the fucking Maroon it's... Sea? Oh, there it is. Misclicking. Antida. <laughs> Our scans are located a battery of defunct Turian turrets orbiting Antida, but many have suffered irreparable damage, and only a few appear to be worth salvaging. The recon team carefully retrieves half a dozen turrets and stores their components in a cargo bay. These will be transferred to the Nauru Combine at the earliest com opportunity. Cool. Right. Stuff. Yeah, since we're and here. the money. Yeah, we might as well get... Mm. Uh, I'm more feeling... Acid. Vostok. Well, is it bloody Vostok? I don't even actually know where that is on the map, but... Hush you. It would appear I was wrong. Quite unlucky. Listen, saying I'm unlucky is like saying the sun is hot. I found something. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Shut up! You discovered a destroyed Cerberus research base. Reaper ground forces appear to have swept through, killing the scientists, their bodies scared, scattered in smoking ruin. The ground team reports Cerberus appears to have been studying husks, both their production and the methods the Reaper used to control them. ED is analyzing what is left of the data and forwarding it to Alliance Command. An intact Cerberus mantis was recovered among the debris. Its pilots only managed to make it halfway, halfway across the hangar before being caught and torn apart by cannibals. Oh. Ah, there's servers. Oh, well, it's not very soggy as that shit. Exactly. And hey, there's still more. Free gunship. Ooh. Eh. Yeah. Only we can actually use it. Free fuel. And a good amount of it, so... And that's it. Alright. I guess we're gonna go see the other home world. Or what passes for going to see it? Yeah. You know, they're making a Mass Effect 4, and if the galaxy map does not include this, the little, this little galaxy map tune, I'm not buying the game. <laughs> like, there's a Mass Effect staple. Like, really, we need to scan it. Yes, we do. <clears throat> After emerging through the mass relay, Joker guides Normandy th towards the Hanar homeworld at a cruising velocity. There's a buoyant atmosphere among the crew. The war has taken its toll on their morale, and the prospect of rex relax relaxation on Kaje, albeit brief, is more than welcome. For you, the next few days will take a different kind of toll. You don't relish the thought of a diplomatic talks with the Illuminate Primacy, but a t potential support is too great to ignore. These negotiations may secure vital support for the Systems Alliance efforts to retake Earth. In addition to the resources to support the Citadel, in addition to resources to support the Citadel, though they may not have the greatest fleet in the galaxy, the reclusive Hanar have a powerful economy and are one of the few civilizations that is weathering the storm of the Reapers. You need their support. 
As you approach Kaje, Joker transmits the code to allow passage past the planetary defense system. In response, he receives authorization and a transmission. Your contact on Kaje, Sineshaw Kimin, claims not a city. Uh, city is under attack, and it humbly pleads for your expertise in the matter. Kameen explains that indoctrinated Hanar smuggled collectors through their defense network. Then they, they then seeded explosives across the city, with the aim of wiping out the core of the primacy and hundreds of thousands of citizens by sinking Nidaria below the waves. Hanar and Drell security forces are fighting against the attack and have deactivated several devices, but in two locations they, they are struggling to make any headway. The Reliquary of the Enkindlers and the, Drav and the Drelifah District, a drill slum. Both areas are under attack and require your assistance to break the Collector forces. Where do you deploy? Ooh. <sighs> I would probably deploy the Reliquary. Valuable data. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in theory, just. Let me deploy here and send everyone else there. I got this. Yeah, but we know we, we both know it's not gonna be that easy. <laughs> nah. <clears throat> the Normandy skims the atmosphere as the shuttle disembarks. Here's another thing that we could do. I deploy here, and the other and the rest of my crew goes over here. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway. We have plenty for two teams. Yeah. The Normandy skims the atmosphere as the shuttle disembarks from the cargo bay. Lightning whips around the Kodiak as it glides down through one of Kaje's thunderstorms, until you burst through the cloud cover and spot the floating city. Through storm-battered viewports, you can see that Nidaria is bulbous, like a titanic mushroom that has erupted from the dark depths of the ocean. Only external harbors are open to the sky. The rest of the city is enclosed within a climate-controlled environment that favors the drill inhabitants. <clears throat> With the airlock open, Cortez takes the shuttle into the city and then immediately guides it to the reliquary of the Enkindlers. Whether by quirk or hidden egotism, <coughs> the shape of this sacred Hanar site bears a stark res resemblance to their bell. In times of peace, it would have been a beautiful example of contemporary architecture. But the enemy breached the outer defenses, murdering anyone unfortunate enough to be in the courtyard. Gunfire can be heard within the main complex as the defense forces b battle to regain control of the museum. There's no time for awe or reverence as you step into the building. Instead, you have to dodge bullets and dive for cover. Collectors pin you down behind, beside a statue, but thankfully nearby security com f f comes for your aid. Draw guards shoot the collectors from a gallery above, while a Hanar uses a burst of biotics to rip them apart with singularity. After skirmishing along the sacred corridors, you reach an immense atrium that houses dozen of pr dozens of protein artifacts. At its heart are Hanar cultists and their collector allies. The collectors are busy setting up explosive devices while the cultists trail after them reverentially. You attack. The battle ends quickly, and with Edie's technical support, the bomb is deactivated. The ground then shakes as an explosive detonates somewhere in the distance. Over radio, you get confirmed. The bomb in the Dralafa district detonated. Thousands are believed to be dead, but somehow the city has not sunk. Ooh. <sighs> Always, always, always a no-win scenario. Mm -hmm. Some tour that was. Yep. Well, at least we're done here. Yeah. Okay. Still so many missions. Nimbus Cluster. Nimbus Cluster, I hate this one. Uh... Yeah, no idea where that is. Hades Nexus. I guess we can check the Nexus. Yeah, head for Hades Nexus. Yeah, might as well. It's over here, I think. Uh, yep, there it is. Signal confirmed. Now can we get that later? That's fuel. Yeah, you're kind of... 
I mean, yeah. Because there's more fuel everywhere. So that is. You found several some things. So it would seem. <clears throat> While scanning quite eddy, you discover a large debris field and a crater in the southern hemisphere. Chief Engineer Adams and Edie conduct several sweeps of the area and detect evidence of damaged subterranean structures and radiation signatures consistent with a Systems Alliance Orbital Ordinance. To get to the heart of this mystery, Liara is scouring her databanks for information about Quiet Eddie and the Systems Alliance actions on the dwarf planet. Hmm. A mystery. Ooh. Hmm, interesting. No idea what it means. <laughs> and Leapzig. Fun. And free fuel. So what, uh, we just recovered an entire alliance ship or something? Yeah, apparently. Signal confirmed. Yeah, should this count the entire system in one go? I mean, when it's a one planet system, it's not hard. Yeah, fair enough. Protean Sphere. Protean Sphere. I think that's what we were looking for. Possibly. But it doesn't hurt to check the last, sy the last system. Correct. This one's I pretty found deep. Nee. <laughs> oh boy, more fuel! Terves. Oh, this is the homeworld of Doraloi. Which only uh, exists yeah. in background lore. Oh. <coughs> that probably explains why I don't recall the name. A sapient avian species that were inducted into Council Space in 2185. The planet is warm with a huge savanna belt stretching across both southern and northern hemispheres and an abundance of wildlife with avian characteristics. Reloy settlements have been detected across most of the continents, except for the desert regions, which are surprisingly devoid of civilization. I don't think that's really that surprising, but okay. <laughs> the Reloy are undergoing a radical technological and cultural shift after turning their back on Citadel space. Space shuttles are, uh, yeah. space shuttles are combing the ionosphere for any and all hints of space flight before the shuttles themselves are dismantled. While on the surface, immense construction projects are restoring international communications via landline cables and radio. All in a bid to be spared from destruction by the Reapers by posing as a pre-spaceflight species. Scans have revealed that this techn technological destabilization is not as welcome among the nations of Tervest as their leadership has anticipated. At least a dozen minor conflicts have begun in the time following their withdrawal from the Citadel. Though these appear to have been localized conflicts rather than a world war. Radio transmissions reveal signs of widespread social unrest at the perceived cowardice of their leadership and fears over annihilation by sapient starships. Of course, mm. this is all yeah. the, base, the basic description. We've actually done some minor events, I think, from mods yeah. to get them to join the war. Reloy Cruiser, Arky. Speaking, Speaking of which... Of which. <laughs> like, they, uh, Reapers ain't like, gonna spare least, you, motherfuckers. Like, at least some of them definitely wanted to join. It's like, the Reapers ain't gonna spare you, motherfuckers. And I guess we might as well grab the fuel. Might literally be everything in the system. Yep, it is. Yep. I've also confused the uh, interface. 
okay. You don't see the little outline on the edge? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've confused it. Uh, get a widow. Now, it's never a trip around the galaxy picking up a bunch of stuff without the need to go to the Citadel to deliver it. Yep. But we can do that next time. And I can also take some time to figure out what the rest of these things are. Yeah, you know, just uh, a bit of exploration and stuff to do. So, without ado, see you next time. Bye bye